if you was the one Put your feelings aside, we can keep this low Feeling your vibe on the regular God sent me a sign from the stars above Had to decide if you was the one Put your feelings aside, we can keep this low Feeling your vibe on the regular What's up, y'all? I am finishing the vlog from yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. I'm finished the vlog for yesterday or the day before yesterday. That was the day before yesterday when I was by my friend in Biloxi. But um, we were supposed to do something yesterday, but it wasn't really nothing. My dad, he was having a Labor Day party. And I thought it was today on Labor Day, on Labor Day, but it wasn't and he had it yesterday but i think most of the family came saturday and spent the night saturday night and left sunday and i had to work sunday yesterday so by the time i got down here nobody was out here but he still had the food or whatever so we ate and that was just that and it was just like we were just chilling or whatever and everybody know when i come to franklinton i'll be ready to prank my dad or whatever but i'm going to take a little break not a little break, but I'm about, I'm going to take a break from the pranking him because he be expecting it. Like, every time I come down here, he be like, I gotta watch you because you be with that camera. And I be like, damn, like, I can't just vlog. <laughs> but everybody know when I come down here, I be having a prank him because he just, sometimes he just damn funny as fuck. But I was on live. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I was on live for about 25, 30 minutes. And we was just token or whatever the case may be and somehow we got on the topic of what i am about to discuss so everyone knows that i well i don't know if y'all know to all my new people that have subscribed thank you for subscribing um i love y'all and thank you um for subscribing um welcome to the team and i'm about to give y'all all the late content all the late content but um yeah, so I was on live. Um, my Instagram is the gorgeous underscore sassy. I will put it right there. But um, that is my Instagram, and I was on live, and I was trying to get some insight, um, some input on who should I collab with, and where should I go to do collabs because it's a little hard, or whatever case may be. And I was saying that on my old channel, I had an old channel. If y'all, if y'all go on Google, if y'all go on Google and y'all type in sassy and a n a N D and two D T U T I E T V the channel will pop up. Um at first for like a whole month. Um this has been my friend. I never touched on I never talked about this um this this topic. I never talked about it because it was a touchy topic. But um I got Taco Bell. I said I was on my live, I said I was gonna get something like quick to eat or whatever. So I can do like some type of low bang, but I'm not really hungry. So that's only got one taco and I got this little freeze or whatever, but I'm, I'm not really hungry. So I said, um, so basically that channel was like branded off. Well, this channel was branded off that channel. And it's kind of like the same little model thing, but I felt like I put my all into that channel. I really did. Like, I really did. Like I was trip after trip paying people to promote all kinds of stuff using other people's platforms to promote our channel everything um so i'm gonna give you a summary on what happened so this happened last year last year like a little bit after april no, even before that, it was like 2018. Something happened. One of my friends, Tootie, she went to bring. She had another friend that she was uh, on a little dance scene with, and we tried to welcome her into our circle. She was younger than us. I think she was either two years younger than us. So everything that we was able to do at that time, she wasn't able to do because she wasn't 18. So like certain clubs or like certain things we're trying to do and then like she still was like she was 17 at the time so she still had a parent that was a little strict on her everything so it was just to be time 
well sometimes we'll go get her just to take her out the house and do things with her or whatever and she kind of looked looked up to us in a way but as she came into the circle she started being messy and my group of friends we've been friends Tootie and my other friend Nika by Nika we've been friends since seventh grade seventh grade you like 12 13 and we've been friends for that long my other best friend smurf we've been friends since high school ninth grade mm. so each of us have some type of history I was supposed to start the channel in seven in 2017 but it was just all over the place we didn't know like we didn't know nothing all we did was started a gmail account choose the name and i think a picture and then like we was trying to think of like how we was gonna do our intro and how we was gonna be on camera but we were still young at that time and we didn't know we didn't know nothing about youtube in 2017 even though that's when the year everybody was lit everybody like was lit diara queen and chris Air Taylor girls, everybody like Ari, Neek, and King, all of them branched out in 2017. So we should have been on it, but we didn't start officially until like June of 2018. And it was doing good or whatever. We had our little fan base, and it was all right. And so we was doing good. The whole 2018 was doing good. And when her friends started to come into our circle, it started affecting me and her friendship. And I felt like the girl had messy tendencies. I felt like this person, each person is entitled to the way they they supposed to feel. Um, they entitled to the way they feel. She could have called me messy. She could have said, hey, big. She could have said, bitch, I don't like you. She could have said all that. That's she entitled to her own opinion. She entitled to the way she's supposed to feel. Now, I ain't going to lie. I probably will feel some type of way, but that was not my own original. And that was like my, that, that wasn't like my core friend. Like, so I probably would have, so I probably would have brushed that off. And I would have been like, fuck, okay. Okay, you you feel how you feel. But she took it as, she just went like, she just went hard. Like, she just went hard. Like, what I'm telling y'all, hard. And we exchanged words. This was like around 2000, this was like November of 2018 going into 2019. So this was like one of the little reasons. And I felt like my friend Tootie, by that being my friend, she should have accepted the way I feel and, you know, should have just let that be Nate. But I feel like she was just trying to get me to accept everybody that she was cool with or everybody that was in her circle or just all of that. And I don't have to, I can tolerate you, but I don't have to accept you. I don't have to be there all in your face all the fucking time like i don't have to do that and i feel like that's what she wanted me to do by that being my close friend one of my closest friends like literally we did everything together i'm gonna tell you everything together we had the youtube channel together we had a good little fan base going we i always slept at her house her house was my go-to house this was like beyond youtube this was like my core like this was one of my best friends that was one of the little main things. And this, like, from November to, like, I would say November to, like, kind of like New Year's, me and Tootie didn't talk like they. And me being a bigger person, I was, like, I wasn't about to let a good friendship go to waste because of her feeling some type of way because i i told her her friend that was coming in had messy tendencies 
so um we kind of started back talking we was all right or whatever doing videos then i had went to houston in 2019 april 2019 to collab and also for my godchild birthday she had made two at that time so um i had went out there and i had collabed with dc um dc he used to be with well he be with carmen and corey um airy sometimes he be you know just all he just be with 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 the little click or whatever um i had went out there to collab with all of them i was trying to but it was a little hard and i don't know it's just i don't know y'all it's so hard to collab with somebody or reach out to somebody when i'm by myself like i don't have no management team everybody had to start somewhere everybody had to move somewhere and link up with somebody these nowadays nobody want to link up nobody want to they they just money hungry they just money hungry and it drives me it, i don't have nobody i don't have no team no support system no nothing it's me by myself so that was the only person i had collabed with at that time and i had went i was trying to get her to come out there with me with that she didn't come to the didn't come and then it's uh, her, her graduation party happened in may and a girl i knew i was gonna see the girl her friend i knew i was gonna see her friend again and i was cordial i can be cordial i can be cordial okay with you i'm not gonna sit up there and be fake and i'm not gonna sit up there and be kiki all in your fucking face when i don't fuck with you if i told you i don't fuck with you that mean i don't fuck with you like it's not hard to understand it after we had exchange words this is when we had exchange words i told her you know i'm not gonna fuck with you on that level it's a hey bye situation so what's me because i know that i'm gonna always see you because you're my friend her friend and she brought you into the circle but i don't have to sit up there and talk to you and so for her graduation for two to graduation i spoke we was cordial whatever so we get to the house my friend had a little little party a little eat eat I mean together get together whatever at her house her sister her mama everybody was there and i know i was gonna see the girl again so you know everybody on live i can i'm put i'm gonna insert the clips but i was on live enjoying enjoying my little life or whatever um on live having fun and everybody in the room and he's talking and i'm trying to figure out what the hell they talking about they tell me to come in the room and i, I go in the room and they sitting up there talking and she, she was like she felt like she needs to get an apology and i told her no i'm not giving you no damn apology if i feel some type of way if i feel some type of way towards you why give you an apology this the way i feel i'm not gonna apologize from the way i feel i didn't come at you rude i didn't come at you disrespectful i came at you the a proper way you try to get rowdy on the phone because when y'all it's so much when i went um i told my friend donisha i told my friend tootie that i felt like she had messy tendencies so tootie had went back and told times to go back he little girl shit little girl shit basically and she got on the phone with rowdy like who the fuck called me messy who the or whatever and i said me i did and what and what I, I said, I felt like you have messy tendencies. And she was like, and so what? She just was going off. So, I feel like that that whole situation branched, kind of sort of branched off into our relationship, me and Tootie relationship. And so, and, damn, I'm trying to see what the fuck happened. Oh, so like that whole summer, 2019, that whole summer, my friend Smurf, my best friend Smurf, she had came back, she moved back from Houston, and she was already going through a lot with her relationship, abusive relationship. And then it was another like issue with our friend Banika that they was having. So it was Banika and Smurf had an issue with Tootie. And Tootie had an issue with Banika and Smurf. But I'm the the mutual friend and I'm the more like talkative one. So I was trying to get them to talk. They didn't want to talk. Um, all three of them were stuck in their ways. So, 
it was me multiple times, multiple times, and I was used to be trying to get them on the phone to talk, just just talk. We all friends, and I always say, and I always say, friendships is like relationships. You work on your relationship. If you was in a relationship, you will work on it. If you really love that person, you will work on it. You wouldn't just give up. Y'all got history. Why you just give up on something small? And it was a lot of going back and forth. He say, she say, you're not. A lot of nights cry. We used to have meetups at my other call. We used to have meetup late night meetups, two, three o'clock in the morning. And one day, um, they still was trying to snipe away. And because Tootie had told, had said, Tootie had said, um, they wanted to know why Tootie, why Tootie treated me different from them two. And she kind of sort of told them, but like in a rude way. And it wasn't, it wouldn't be what I would tell a friend. And she was saying that they not on her level or whatever. They don't have the type of grind that me and her have. And, you know, all kinds of stuff. And every, you know, I, I agree. I, I, I didn't agree I mean, I agreed at that time, but I was trying to nitpick on what she was talking about. Cause if you was, if somebody was to tell me that, I will, I will feel play. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. So, so they felt some type of way, and I think like a couple of days went by, and yeah. A couple of days had went by and they had wanted to talk. So I put all three of them on the phone and they talked for maybe a good little hour, hour and a half. And so things started getting heated. And, and two of their boyfriend, I hear him in the background and he's saying, who making his girlfriend mad? Why she mad? What's wrong with her? You know, a basic checkup. But what he crossed the line at was getting on the phone. Because Smurf had called Chris. Well, I should say that he was acting. He he was acting like a bitch. What he what she do? I ain't gonna lie. I don't care. He have bitch tendencies. Like he always in a female face. He always pressed on the female he always so tuned in of what Tootie got going on instead of Tootie being tuned in to what she got going on in her friends he want to be so tuned in in her friendships in her relationships like you're a male stay in a male's lane you're a boy stay in a boy's lane don't you have your own friends like and and i'm i'm not i don't know if she gonna watch this because we slowly getting back to where we is but it's weird i don't know if she gonna watch this i don't care but i still feel like that i still feel like that because it was like situations that done happened and it's be like damn like he all in my face like like damn hey fuck and i know he probably wanted to have his girlfriend best interest or whatever but you're a male like stay in your fucking lane like it's a, it should be boundaries like yeah it's okay to you know talk with your boyfriend or your girlfriend about your problems and stuff and what you, you know your life and what you got going on your friendships really all kinds of stuff it's okay but in for you to get on a phone like he got on the phone and he just started going in and he was like, oh, yeah, Sasha, I know because you the, you, the, you the main one. Yeah, that bitch, she the main one and all that, calling me out my name. And going off because I'm the more vocal one out of our group or whatever. But the issue was never with me. I'm going to show y'all a little bit of the, the text messages. I'm going to pop up right there. But, yeah, so he was going off. And um, me being a bigger person, y'all will see in the, mess in the messages. I text her and I said I wasn't trying to argue with him. Because I kept telling her to give, I kept telling him to give her back the phone. If she mad at Smurf, or if she feels the type of way what Smurf said, just hang up. Just hang up. Just hang hang the phone up. But I was like, get the phone back to Danisha. I kept telling him. I told him about five, six times. I said, 
he went off on me. He went off on me for no fucking reason. The issue was never with me. I had no, me and Danisha was good. We was good. I was trying to help her repair her friendships with her cousin and my and the other friend. We was good, but I'm glad that shit happened because I found out some some real, real shit. Some real shit, and I was like, damn, she really feel this type of way. And so we let like some a couple of months go by, and then we approached the they approached to try to try to approach the situation in December. My friend, um. My friend Bonica, she had a um a Christmas party. I think yeah, it was a Christmas party. This was on my Christmas Day. And um she had it at her mama house or whatever. So we went over there. You know, try to try to be and then at that time my car my car was in the shop or whatever. So I had my friend had to come get me. She stayed in Biloxi, but she had to come get me. So she passed Biloxi, came to my house, and then we went to her people house. So we get them and me and Smurf chilling. We good, enjoying a little music. They had some little babies over there. You know, we talk about baby fever, just enjoying the little company. And like I said, Chris, always in female business, always in female female faces. He was like, as soon as I got the call, he all in my face, staring. And so I'm like, he was like, I said, hey, how y'all doing? Walk past. I can record you. Hey, how you doing? Bye. And that's, that's it. So, I said, hey. So, I said, so I said, um, hey. I said, hey, and I, I walked past. That whole night, I'm going to insert another clip. That whole night was all, like, every time I made a Snapchat, every time I was on Snapchat, singing or whatever, he was, like, all in the background. And we, me and my best friend sitting there enjoying each, enjoying this, having fun. We go in the room. Here come Chris. We walk up in the room. Like, if Danisha wanted to talk, if Tootie wanted to talk, she could talk. She grown. She grown. We her friends. You're not our friend. You a male. Stay in the male's lane. Like, oh my God. It irritated the fuck out of me. Y'all just don't know, like... Every, from that day forward, I was trying to work on myself so bad. And the devil, he be working. He be motherfucking working. Like, for real, y'all. For real. And he came in that room on 10. He knew. And he knew his girlfriend had no wrong. He was pointing the finger at me and my best friend Smurf. Just was like doing too much. So let another couple of months go by. And I feel like every time like I would go somewhere with my friend Bonica, Tootie would feel some type of way, whatever. That's her cousin or whatever. But they wasn't talking. They're not on the best of terms and they still not. It's weird if I don't fuck with you or I don't talk to you on the level. You're not my like core friend who I would call to say, "Oh, let's take a ride, or let's go go this place. Let's let's go this place." You're not my core friend, so I'm not gonna reach out to you. Now, if it feels like something big, a family function, uh, when they had the engagement party, or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna reach out to you. But if we, if I'm taking a little quick trip to Biloxi, uh, if we about to go ride to Baton Rouge, I'm not gonna call you because I don't fuck with you on that level. You know, you know, you have them friends who you talk to on that level. And I felt like Tootie was, and then this, 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 this year, I felt like she was feeling some type of way because that is my friend. And I, and I, and everybody know this. I'm the friend that everybody love. I'm the friend that everybody want to be around with. And I value the fuck out of my friendships. I don't let no, I don't let nobody play with my friend. If you my friend, I don't let nobody play with my friends. You're not about to play. My friends are like my family or my family. You're not about to do that. So... Um, we was going on this girl's trip, and every time, like, I will be in the picture. Now, Banika, from a whole year, she is a military wife. So, she have her own military friends. I have no issue with that. But I felt like when it came down towards me, Tootie, Danisha, she will feel some type of way every time she see me on a Snapchat or every time she see me on a video. Or why, or why I should get the girl, why I should get the girl, why I should get all of this. 
and it's petty that's petty as fuck if i don't fuck with you why you worried about who who on this trip you can uh, rearrange your own your own circle you could you could fix that but you choose not to because you y'all petty so so i think that she was trying to fix it and i don't know but now she reached out after whole year whole year this happened in july july i would say like mid-july she and I, I blocked on everything she was blocked but i had recently un unblocked her when we had talked after she was feeling some type of way about the girl's trip and everybody was like she only feels some type of way because you you on the trip you, you and when i'm with my other friends she don't do that but because you on the trip she feels some type of way so we talked because she was like my friend was like she was gonna do another um girl's trip and she was like how would how would i feel if she come i didn't mind i could be cordial and she was like well before before i do it because i want y'all to sleep at my house the night before so we could just go from my house it was like okay um we talked on the phone she said what she said she's and i said what i said and i think after that that was when i had um blocked her so she texted me the girl trip happened in june or may may or june and i had unblocked her at that time but i think she she reached out to me mid-july and she said she wanted to talk we met up we talked and she was trying to get back into the groove of our channel and rekindling and stuff but it takes time it takes time because now i feel like you play me in a way and now i don't trust you i don't trust you like that yeah i will always love you but and that love will always be there but i would never forget like she did some fucked up shit y'all she did some fucked up shit like shit that i would never do never do if you're my friend and we're on bad terms i would never fuck over you um feel like feel like i'm being fucked over no i would never do that and that's how i felt she really played on me she really played on me and i don't like that i didn't like that well I want to share that little story time because I never, I never talked on it. Never talked on it. I never talked on it. But today was the day. I was on live and I said, let me do a video. And look at we here now. But I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been long enough. Long enough. About, damn, 28 minutes. Hope I can upload it. But... I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to the new people. No, uh, thank you to the new people that have subscribed. Make sure you tell your friend to tell your friend to say their mama, their daddy, their brothers, their cousins, sisters, baby mama, baby daddy, to subscribe to Life of Sassy and come join the plush gang, gang, gang. <laughs> and we out. You gonna let me come through this bitch? Bow.